So this is Haymo Productions. Just letting you know, we're now going through a daytime lock. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it around uh, as we're leaving Bryce back and our way to Basel, Switzerland. So same thing as before. We're getting ready to go through another lock. We have a green light as before. Again, the gate is up. I did ask the CO. He's right over there with his second, another officer. They do have the pilot house lowered. And Jay way in the back with the lowered awnings. But I asked the captain, he says we're okay to stay here. So we're gonna take a look at what looks like a daytime lock crossing. So this is what it looks like over here on port side. Uh, very close. But we're doing okay. No worries. Just watch out for a little bit of the moisture, guys. Especially on the other side there. Some drippings coming down. Yeah, don't look at it. They might jump out at you. <laughs> yeah. So here's the gate. Gate opening right here. Oh, a little dropping on me. No big deal. Sailor can take that. The noise that you're hearing below us is the bow thrusters and aft thrusters slowing us down. To be honest with you, it looks like it's about maybe 80 feet to the waterline. Really? That far? Yeah. Come on up, ladies. It's a better view up here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen, but do we have water coming through the other gate there? It looks like it's splashing up from right in the middle center. It is a little bit. Yeah, no worries. Like it's a leak. Straight down. It's come straight down as soon as we get ourselves stopped. So right now we're passing the rear gate. I see the red lights over there to the left that tells us not to back the way we came in. It's pretty cool beans. Oh, and then here the bridge is first raising up. Oh, yes it is. How about that? Did you come up last night? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. and yes, sure did. We had a few people down below. Okay, we're coming towards the forward port of, portion of the lock. We do have a red light still up above. We should be coming to a stop shortly. Just brace yourselves, ladies. It might be a quick stop because we're moving pretty quickly. It will not. It will not. Okay. Yeah, it should stop like right now. No, no, she's slowing down. She's slowing. No, no. She's gonna she's gonna swing open like a regular oh, door will. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we should be stopping. We should be stopping. It's okay. Yeah, so, no, he hasn't cleared it, but it just tells us to not back up because that door is going to be closing on us. And once that door closes, then this lock starts flooding. Okay, we're all, oh, stop! Perfect. Nice. Nice. Now, in the Panama Canal, with these large locks, they're literally like three times bigger and six times longer. And they have what are referred to as mules, train uh, locomotives on either side and back aft uh, controlling the ship's movement. So we are not under any control. Uh, this ship will be, but we won't, uh, because we don't have mules to tie us up. And that's why it takes that evolution such a long time because we got to tie up, got to lash ourselves down to the mules and then the mules actually moves the ships across oh, the locks. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. For real? Yeah, oh. for real, yeah. God. Yeah. That's yeah, now you see the yellow gangway that's up there yeah. uh, that allows people for maintenance to get across from one side of the lock to the other. So uh -huh. no big deal yeah. there. Okay, warning for the gate. Make sure that no one's there. Yep, 
You can see it barely on the rail. See that uh, middle rail there? Daytime showing at the rear gate coming down. Slowly but surely. Surely but slowly. And this one will open like a door. Yeah, on both sides, like a big old barn door. So there's there are officers here, our grand officers here. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much for protecting us and safe uh, navigation. So we have two bridge wings here for navigation, uh, closing quarters, bringing in the ship to pier. Interestingly enough, I see three controllers there. Uh, could you explain what the two that are right nearby your hand? Yes, those two These right there? These two are the controllers for the uh, stern propellers. Stern propellers, okay. This one is the bow thruster. The bow thruster, got it, excellent. All right, and it's so shocking that you have eight screws, is that correct? You have eight screws on this ship? Wow. Now the radios are there for uh, talking to people up there in the lock control. And uh, the buttons, well, I just don't press those buttons. I, I just hear the order and, I, and then I press. <laughs> And your name is sir? My name is Daniel. Daniel. And you're sir? Gary. Gary. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to visit your pilot house. I'm a former U.S. Navy sailor, and I just wanted to take a quick look inside if that's okay. Do that. All right. Do thank this, you sir. very much. Yeah. Thank you. So we're going into the pilot house after getting permission from the two officers here, the XO and the second in command. So here we go. There's your chart. Very cool beans. The navigational chart. We are not too sure where we. Oh, there we go. There's a city. There's a city right over there. It's a little bright. Hope you can see that. And it gives you an idea of what this equipment looks like here. Very fascinating. Very fascinating. Okay. We have the controls that are here, and it's all done by one person. Uh, maybe another person could be here just to administrative stuff and just making sure everything's good. Controls for watertight doors are here. Looks like we have the directions of the thrusters in the sense of uh, the engine per power. Very cool beans, very cool beans. And of course, oh yes, the red logs, the red logs. Don't touch those red logs. And uh, other equipment. As you can see over here on this panel, this uh, graphic here, we have the bow thrusters. Excuse me, the stern thrusters, turning sideways, and a lot of other good goodies, cool beans. As you can see down below, like I said, it is a scissors tight. I think I might have caught in this uh, pilot house on its way up. So right now we are rising. Okay, so we're going up. Yes. Yep, yep. On our way up. Moving on up. <laughs> so we're moving on up. Moving on up. We do have some gnats flying around. I'm going to try to find myself a better place. I'm going to show you the whole evolution of moving on up in this small, pretty much one boat lock, one riverboat lock. And of course, you need to have clearance uh, forward and aft, but the clearance to the sides. is very, very minimal. It's literally like... Maybe eight inches on this Oh, side. I would say less. I would and, say maybe even maybe five. maybe a foot on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's no nets on this side, so I'm gonna stay over here on starboard side. And we're gonna get level to this rail and surpass it shortly.
and there's the river on the other side. So it looks like the gnats are following me, so I'm going to go back to port side. Hopefully we don't run over those, the waterfowl in front of us. Okay, we have about, looks like about 10 feet before reaching the top of water level. Okay, and on the other side is closing. Up, oh, it is. Yes, she is. I think it is closing. Now there's our reservoir. That's where we're getting the water from, from uh, uh, for this lock. So there are pumps that are underneath us that are getting the water from here, pushing it up here, just like a hydraulic system, guys, in the garage. You have a large reservoir, smaller reservoir. You push down that large reservoir, this thing goes up. Okay. Uh, because if you did that, you'll smash the ship. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yes, yeah, you don't want to do that. Especially when we're up here as well. Yes. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. It's a good question. And now we're just about level. Sensors should be coming up. I reckon we can go. Yes, yes. Well, the gates have to open first, and then the lights will turn green. Yes. And there he goes. Base gates are opening. Getting ready to continue our way through those mountains and beyond. Someone's knocking on my door. Someone's ringing the bell. No? Okay. My buddy Amber down below. So if you check me out, John, on Blue to Beagle, you'll see uh, my night uh, crossing that I just did. I just uploaded it, so hopefully you'll be able to see that. And now I got a daytime crossing, barely. Okay, gates are flushed. Should be getting signal from lock control. Green lights, and we're pushing forward. Yet. And now we're moving forward. So there are 11 locks that will be passing. This is number five right now. Six more to go to get up to those mountains and beyond.
So again, just to end modest, I hope you enjoy those two videos I produced for you. Part one on the dark side, part two on the light side, well, a little bit lighter side. Uh, please comment, subscribe, share, and uh, you'll see more of this Viking cruise of the River Rhine. Okay, this is M Modest. Ciao.